Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cobra here. It's today I've got another Dungeonborn video for you guys. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I think are probably the two best ways to get high tier uh, equipment in this game. So now, the first way is the easy, minimal effort way, which is you can go right here to this trade button. You can search for whatever you want. Say I want to go weapon and I want, I don't know, a staff. You can search for it and it'll bring up all the ones that people are currently selling. And you can pick through, you know, if I want a thunder staff, if I want this. And you can see a lot of the stats on them. Some of them do have random modifiers. You can't see what those are. And then, you know, these ones are going to be very expensive ones because these are... Uh, higher rarity like legendary or unique quality but so this is a really easy way you know you can see it's like 8,000 typically you know at the highest for a purple rarity equipment so you know when you've got decent amounts I'm actually pretty low at the moment but it's pretty easy to just buy some like that but now the real way is when you go to select where you're going to be playing you want to look for the classic mode now every day it alternates so currently you can see it's on sinners end classic so I could queue into that if I wanted if I try and click on this it'll say start time tomorrow at 5 p.m. my time so that's when this will start now if you look at the levels you can see this one has one little star by it this one on casual has two every star that it has goes up in difficulty but also in loot so this is obviously going to be the easiest playing casual on the castle. A little bit harder is casual on Sinner's End. Then you have classic on the castle where it's going to start giving you a little bit higher enemies. But you tend to see almost exclusively green and above loot. And then you've got classic on Sinner's End which is what I'm going to be showing you right now. And classic on Sinner's End is going to give you pretty solid loot. Now the one thing I will tell you about this. In order to access or I guess two things. In order to access either of these, you can see there's a gear score. It's required that you have a gear score of at least six. Basically, if you have a few pieces of green gear, you are good. You just can't queue in with the absolute basics. So you can see my gear score is 13, and this is what I've got. I've got, you know, what is that? Five pieces of green and one blue, and I ended up at 13. So it's not too hard to reach that, but... This one, you then have to have nine, which is a little bit harder because this is going to be a lot tougher of enemies. But the one thing I, another thing I will really warn you about, in addition to the enemies being harder, the people you're going to go up against in this are the people <coughs> that are very competitive. So we're going to go ahead and head on in and we're going to see how badly I get wrecked. Well, hopefully not, but, uh, We'll get to see a little bit of this loot. So we're just in the queue waiting to start. I'll go ahead and I'll skip this part for you guys. Okay guys, so here we are. Now, keep in mind, like I said, the stuff you're gonna find is going to be higher tier here, but it's going to be a whole heck of a lot more dangerous. You can see this isn't your normal goblin, this is a red goblin. They're a little tougher. But I'm playing as a druid right now, so should be pretty easy. Looks like there is a beholder. Oh, wow, it is literally above me. I did not see that, and I don't know how I didn't. There we go. Oh, wow, that was a glitch. So you can see, there we go, we killed that Beholder. So you can see that was an upgraded one, it was a little bit tougher. I need to fix my screen, it's currently windowed full screen. But you can see, right off the bat, we get ourselves a level 4 sword, a purple rarity. That was the first thing that I got out of any of this. So that is not bad at all. 
that's the kind of loot you're going to be getting from this. I've gotten all the way up to orange rarity, which I believe is legendary. You can see even a goblin just gives me green here. But this is very dangerous. Oh, there's a goblin in front of me. Did something just shoot at me? Sounded like it. <clears throat> so you can see, so far I've killed three enemies and I have not gotten anything lower than green rarity. Oh crap, that sounds like a player. It is a player. So you can see, that guy was absolutely cracked. Let me see if I can see his loadout. Yeah, so we, we're looking at, you know, purple rarity, a lot of things. That's the kind of things that people are going to have. Um, but you can see the loot that I was getting was no less than green which is significantly better than what you would normally get. So, yeah, we'll spectate a few others. This person's actually doesn't have that much. But yeah, most people that are going into this are gonna go into it with at least some sort of purple gear, just because it is very competitive and you're looking at the top people. So if you're gonna go into this, I do recommend high level gear, but you can see the kill feed at the top right Everyone's got purple stuff because that's this is where you're going to get it. So we'll go ahead and return back to the lobby here. Uh, so that's where you're going to get a lot of this purple stuff or enchanted, you know, blue and green stuff. It's going to be in these classic modes. This one obviously is the hardest um, that is currently here. And... Then this one's going to be slightly easier, but slightly less uh, good loot. Now, obviously, if you're going to kill a boss, it's going to give you higher tier loot, just like in the other one sets where you're going to get a lot of your really, really good stuff. But I hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions, um, let me know. The other way you can get some, not too difficult, but it's going to take some grinding, is if you get a lot of these materials up here, you can actually go and you can upgrade to say get you know a purple fire staff or you know a purple helmet or you know a ring whatever you want here this can also be upgraded and then that alone will also allow you to go in with consistently purple gear and you know the better gear you have the better your stats and your abilities are going to be so hope this guide is helpful uh, let me know if you guys have any other topics you want me to make a video on i'm definitely here to help you guys learn the game. There's a lot of things to this game. I'm going to be trying to get a few more videos out as well about a few other topics that might be a little confusing. So let me know if there's anything you want to see. Uh, please like and subscribe and continue to support the channel. The more support I get with these videos, the more videos I'm going to be making. So I will see you guys next time.